Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work the foundation double crochet. And there's two different approaches I'll show you. So this is the front side of the foundation double crochet stitches that I worked. Here is the starting chain, and here is the tail from the slip knot. And I worked this way across. So you can see the top of my stitches look like standard V-shaped or heart-shaped stop uh, tops with the two loops. If I rotate the work upside down, you can see that my first four stitches here have also look like the top of stitches, but they're just going in the opposite direction than the tops. But over on this end, you can see that I only have single strands. So you can do a single stranded technique for the foundation double crochet, or you can do a double strand. If you're going to have a raw edge or a finished edge that's not going to have any more stitches worked around it, it's a good idea to use the two strand foundation double crochet. If you're going to crochet a round of edging or something, a single crochet or whatever, then you can use the single strand version because it doesn't matter because that's going to all be hidden. One other thing to take into consideration, the double strand ones have an extra bar at the base of each double crochet and the single ones do not have that extra bar and you can see the feet of the double crochet stitches right there. All right so first I'm going to start with a slip knot but I'm not going to tighten my slip knot all the way. I usually don't on any of my crochet projects. So just a little bit loose. If necessary you can put a stitch marker in there and then tighten things up just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to chain three. And I'm going to begin my first foundation double crochet. So I yarn over as usual. All right, so now I'm going to work into the third chain from the hook. And I'm just going to use the single strand method and yarn over and pull up a loop. It's important not to be too snug and too tight to that chain. So I'm going to open that loop so it's about twice the diameter of the hook. And then I'm going to chain one just in there. Now I'm going to finish my double crochet with a yarn over, pull through two, and a yarn over, pull through two. So that's my first foundation double crochet. To work my second one, I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to find just that front loop because I'm doing the single strand method and yarn over and pull up a loop and loosen it to twice the diameter of the hook and chain one for my foundation chain. I'm going to pinch here and finish my double crochet off. All right, so then it's going to be pretty easy to find each time that single strand loosen pinch, chain one, and then finish the double crochet. And I'll work one more of those. Go in that front strand only, yarn over, pull through, and loosen, chain one, pinch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so that creates these very open eyelets with one strand in each. But if you're coming around working another border around it, it doesn't matter. Those eyelets fill in with yarn and there's no problem. Okay, so now let's work a double stranded method. And now I'm going to work the double stranded method. So I'm gonna do my yarn over and here's the tricky part. So here's my front loop. I'm going to rotate the work so that I can see the front loop and the back loop. I'm going to insert the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Remember to keep it loose. Chain one. Pinch there. And finish the double crochet. Yarn over. Okay, so that front loop is very loose from pinching it and stretching it open, but that makes it easier to rotate and find 
the second strand, which is at the back. No matter what yarn, I find it splits quite easily. Some yarns that aren't splitty also split with this technique, which is what frustrates some people. Okay, so if you look here, that chain that I made here is pretty tight. So let me just leave it tight and then I'll show you why I don't leave them tight. Okay, so now I need to find the second loop. So I can un insert it under the front loop, but to get it under the second one is just a struggle. So that's why it's important so that before you make that chain one, you want this to be quite loose. And then you can work your chain one and finish the double crochet. Then it's a lot easier to insert the hook under two strands for the next one. Okay, and it takes a while to get into the flow and to develop a balance, but basically you want these stitches to be the same length as the top of your other stitches. If they're too tight, it's pretty much pointless because then you get the same effect as a tight foundation chain and working into the chain. So I hope that helps you figure out or helps you uh, figure out maybe what some of the problems have been for you working the foundation double crochet.